Steve, could you give me a reason why you started competing in both classes, C1 and C2? For me, uh, I'm not the best of my class in C1. And maybe I will not be ever. But I tried to do C1, only C1. And uh, I didn't succeed to be the best. I was not in the Olympics, I was not world champion. And then maybe I need C2 to improve and to be the best in T1 and maybe in T2. What do you think are the differences or similarities between paddling C1 and C2? For me now, um, I really think that there is no connection between C1 and C2. It's two different classes, two different sports. And, you know, every human are different. When I'm training alone, in C1 I need something, I guess, to improve, and I'm focused on it, and when I, in C2, I change my mind, you know, uh, I'm not the same guy, yeah. I'm speaking with Fabian, he explained me what he want to do, I said, yeah, maybe, but I think it's better that way, we're speaking, we are communicating, when I'm with my boat, in C1, I used to speak with him, like, I speak to myself, it's um, a picture, you know, yeah. but finally I speak to myself only, then when I speak to Fabian, I have somebody who answer me different way I expected, and it's perturbating a bit. Do you believe that by training and competing in two classes, you can also improve each of the single classes more? than if you would train and compete in one class only? Um, we switch. We totally forgot our classes when we switch. When we go on C2, we forgot C1 and K1. And that's maybe what makes us improve, yeah. you know? Because when we are playing a, a song at the guitar, we learn, we have. Really for one day, a yeah, full yeah. day. You want to learn a new song, you play all the day, yeah. long. And then, you, you, at the end of the day, you can't even play it more. You, don't, you, you feel know? you don't improve. Yeah. Then, you sleep? the other day, <laughs> <laughs> you say, I have enough of that song. I will change maybe a, a song that I can play better. And the next day, you forget. The next day, when you try again, to play the song you learned two days before, it's like... You play it really yeah. better. Uh, does it happen sometimes you make mistakes because you both have a different background, K1 and C1? At training sometimes when we we want, we want to go on C1 way or in K1 way, maybe sometimes we don't understand each other. And then doing slalom is impossible. We need that. In C2. Yeah, yeah. We, we have to, to talk about yeah. the cost. Yeah. What kind of impact does it have on you mentally and physically uh, to compete in, in two classes? I think energy is mental. You know? When you think you can do something, your brain can give you more energy than you used to have. But what I can say is that uh, to focus in C1 need energy. To focus in C2 need energy, but it's not the same energy. You know, I feel less under pressure in C2. Yeah. You know, I have less responsibility. You know, we are sharing everything, yeah. even the responsibility of the boat. We used to be in the start in C1 and alone. say, alone, maybe if I missed the race, I'm over. In C2 it's not the same, you know. We, when you lose, we are with somebody, yeah. with your friend, we, you can... You, you share relax, something. You, know. you feel support? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, sure. In, in sport you need motivation. If you lose a race in C2 or in C1, you, ha you have another chance. What is the most important condition for you to be successful in, in two classes? More time. Yeah. 
no. between uh, each word. And mm -hmm. I think, as said Fabian before, um, the Olympic program perfect. is perfect. Yeah. Because C1 and K1 can race the same day. Do you learn from the, the world's elite um, in the C2, like for example the Hochschirners and, and the Skantars? When we on the race, we do perfect run for us. And then we run to watch the offseason of the Skantar. And I think we learn more than during the race. Mm. It's, it's maybe the same watch in T1 or in K1. When I was younger, I used to watch all the video I can have of Michel, and it's just it it helps you to have an idea how you have to do in T1. Yeah. And watching uh, Oshona, it's helped us to have an idea to work. But uh, it's not the only way yeah, of working. Everybody, everybody have uh, you know have his move. You know what I mean. No. When Pecho won't turn, he will have a position, body position, that I can't have. Because I need to find another way. You know? Do you have a, a hero in the sport or someone who's an example to you? If you have if you have a hero, you can't beat him. You can be a hero. That's what I think. Maybe I'm not able to do what Michel or Tony is doing, are doing. But if I admire them, how can I beat them? I need to watch them learn, learn and trying to be better. But, you know, today it's not done. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to say is just that my, I, I only need myself to be better, not another person. What are your dreams on a personal level? Every day, that's my dream, you know, doing what I do every day. And I enjoy it. You okay. know, um, winning a race or we, uh, going to the Olympic maybe, or being a world champion, it's just bonus. How would you like to see canoe slalom develop in the future? The young people, I think. Um, I think sport help people to be happier. And in my country, in France, or I think over the world, there is young people who need to to do something, and they can't because they don't have the money or parents don't want and. If Kanuslam become bigger and bigger, I think they, everybody can we'll, do it. We have an access here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. As um, Hamad team did in uh, South, South Africa, Africa, I think it's a great job. Yeah. And what Richard and Miriam did in Australia, I think it's a great job. Well. Yeah. And I think. Um, in all the country of the world, we need to be together in Kenya to improve, and then everybody could take a kayak and or canoe and have fun. Right.